Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we are going to be showing you how to get Registeel in the Pokemon Crown Tundra. So in our previous two episodes in this mini-series we've already went over how to catch Regirock and Regiice. So if you've missed those and you want to go back and check those out, I'll link those up in the top right hand corner. But like I've always done in these guides, you've by now got hopefully the legendary clues that show you how to get these Regis. Now we are on part three of part four at the minute going after Reggie Steel. Near where the green meets snow and giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps on the temple door are strange words. Now we know that it is like an encryption. They're not on the legendary clues themselves. You have to go and find the temple and then you'll be able to kind of figure out what uh, the deal is. Okay, so we're starting off in Freezington as always. We're gonna make our way out into Frostpoint Field and that should take us down on to the giant's path. So I'm thinking where the snow meets ice. We know it's not up where or giant's bed, sorry. We know that it's, it's, oh, okay. What? It's actually here. Okay, it's really easy to find. It's really easy to find. It's straight out into, you just keep right when you come out of um, Freezington and this is the temple right here. So that is amazing. Now, what is the clue? Something is written on the door. Let the ring let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant sleeping. Huh. So we've attached items, we've attached Pokemon. Let the ring. Well, the only thing, like your bike rings, but I don't know if it has a ring. The only thing I can think of is the whistle of your character. So press down the D button to whistle. And it actually works. It actually works. No way. Okay, so you just press down on your d-pad and that will open the door for the reggies so like i said all you need to do is just press down in the center it will your your your, your character will whistle will call your pokemon and that will open the door for reggie steel and once you get inside like i normally always do just save your game here and you will be able to just if you just step on all of these lights don't step on them twice because it will turn them off i don't think there's a specific order to doing this and that should activate the Reggie, the statue. And let's just put a Pokemon that is capable of beating it at the start. Um, my p seems quite good. Let's hope we don't knock it out, but it is pretty defensive, so we should be all right. And we can challenge the statue, and that is Reggie Steel. So we're nearly there with collecting all three of the original Reggies. And... Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I know this, they are difficult to catch and I'm making it harder by going for dive balls. If you've got a dusk ball, make sure you stock up on them before you come into this. We'll go for a high horsepower and hope it's not enough. Hopefully you're super defensive so it's not going to be enough to take you down. Ah, oh, it is enough to take you down. Well, we're going to find out here what happens if you knock one of the Reggies out. Can you get another go at beating it? I'm hoping Reggie stop moving again. Okay, so if you knock it out, don't worry. What you can do is just activate the dots again. Come on. Why can't I get the dots very well? Okay, there we go. So if you if you if you knock it out, don't worry. You you're still gonna get the opportunity to uh, challenge it, and you can go into the battle once again with the Reggie to try and capture it because. Reggie Steel's design is so good. I really love it. I think just the coloring and just everything about Reggie Steel is it's such a good Pokemon. Now we know we can't use high horsepower or earthquake, so we're going to have to uh, just rock slide our way through this and see if we can just chip it down a little bit, which is enough. You know, a couple of those will probably put it in range, especially if we can carry on flinching. That would be incredibly good. Then we can just start chucking Pokeballs at it. I don't know. I think maybe one more probably will. Ah, definitely one more will get it now into that red range because of the iron defense there which is super helpful so we'll be able to rock slide one more time it's more difficult if you've got high level pokemon to not knock these pokemon out but once they're in the red um it should make things a little bit easier charge beam coming out thankfully we got the 
the lightning rod Rhyperia on the team here and uh, we can go with what we've been doing for the rest of them and go for these dive balls so be right back when we catch this Reggie Steel. And we've finally done it. We've got the Registeel in the dive ball as we've got the other two. So that is brilliant news. We've got three of the Regis now. So that's one more to go. And then the legendary clue two is complete. So there you go. Registeel's body is made of a strange material that is flexible enough to stretch and shrink, but also more durable than any metal. There we go. Uh, we want to add to your party. Yes, because I have a feeling we may need all of them in the party when we go into the the, the latter uh, parts of this quest especially if we need Regigigas so you jot down the current status on legendary clue 2 um, let the first Pokemon oh, we've been through these that's Reggie Rock Reggie Ice and then let ring out the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel when I whistled before the door it opened and I found Reggie steel okay so that wraps up a Reggie steel one only going to check in with us again to make sure that we are, are on track for this one and our next little segment in this is going to be getting the new pokemon reggie alecki and reggie dragos don't miss that friends we're going to be kicking off with that very shortly on the channel so i hope you are finding these useful if you are please make sure that you do drop a like on the video do hit the subscribe button or think about hitting the subscribe button if you enjoy this sort of content and like other pokemon content we'll be doing lots more crown tundra content as we go forward and explore these games and leave your comments down below and let me know if you found this useful and what your most favorite features are of crown tundra to date so we'll wrap things up there my friends i hope you have a great rest of your day and like i say we'll be back very shortly with a reggie alecki and reggie drago guide to complete potentially this reggie quest that we're doing at the minute in the crown tundra so thank you so much for tuning in take care of yourselves and have a good one so until next time take care and bye bye